Okay, so on this exact day, 23 years ago, my wife and I went on our very first date. And in my mind, I had decided to, I, was, I thought I was going to make a video talking about my wife and how we met and, and all that stuff. You know, in honor of this occasion. And sometimes I have these feelings throughout the year when certain days come up or certain meaningful dates or certain events. And then I kind of came to the realization that I didn't want to do that. And part of it is because I didn't, I didn't feel like it. I, I mean, I, I like talking about my wife, you know, a little bit about her. She doesn't really play much into this channel, but, um, and even though it would have been like the sentiment would have been really nice. I just didn't feel like it. It didn't feel right. It felt a little forced, a little contrived, a little convenient. I mean, truth be told, the anniversary of our first date could could literally be any day and it doesn't even matter to you. And and so for me it felt it just didn't feel right. And and I started wondering, have I been making my decisions my entire life? in a way that doesn't actually align with who I am as a person. You see, I'm almost, uh, I'm almost 50. To be truthful, I'm almost 40, 48. And being of a Gen X generation, I, um, I was brought up with certain values and a certain way of doing things. And, and for me personally, it was based on rational decisions logic, critical thinking, all of that stuff, right? And far and few in between were decisions made based on feeling. And after 40 plus years of making decisions like that, I think I'm going to start instead making decisions based on how I feel. Because that's what I truly value in 2024. And, and I'm not talking, I mean, I'm not talking about like life altering decisions that clearly you want to think about and weigh the pros and cons before you, before you make them. Um, I'm just talking about like those day to day decisions that may or may not have like a significant impact in your in your everyday life. It got me thinking about when kids make decisions, right? And they do what they feel is what they feel is right, what they want to do, and don't necessarily have the comprehension skills to think about things logically or the life experiences to make um, to make predictions about what will happen with certain decisions and outcomes. And it's part of their learning process, right? They just do something that feels right and it either is good or bad and then they learn something from it. And what if I have been missing out on the excitement of life because I only make logical rational decisions. I have this fantasy of, of, um, being spontaneous, being unpredictable, having more fun, having more enjoyment, stepping outside of my comfort zone. And in my mind, it's always those characters in movies that make those seemingly irrational decisions. And then the story plays out that oh, hey, that was actually the better choice, the better option than what, in our viewer mind, logically, we would have done, right? Because how many times have you watched a movie and been like, see a character do something and be like, oh my gosh, why did they do that? Why I would never do that. And then the storyline unfolds and you're like, oh, well, maybe if I, maybe if I challenged my own decision-making process, that 
that, yeah, I'll inherently enjoy things more and have less stress and have more fun. But maybe that's just me. I'd like to know how you make decisions. Are you a logic-based type of person? Are you a rational thinker? Or are you intuitive? Do you feel something and you just do it? Um, Because that's definitely what today is. And I'm sorry, honey, if you're watching this video, that I didn't profess my love to you online. I think you know that I love you very much. And I think you know that every day. And I don't think you need a YouTube video on the 23rd anniversary of our first date to know that. But, um, But yeah, just in case you're wondering, yeah. Dinner is still on tonight, and uh, and yeah, I just felt like talking about something else today. So, oh, thanks for hanging out with me today, and we'll talk again tomorrow.